Today I'm going to be teaching you the differences between two seemingly similar tenses in French, the imparfait and the passé composé. The passé composé consists of a subject pronoun followed by an auxiliary verb, which is either être or avoir. This is conjugated according to the subject pronoun, just like a regular verb. This is then followed by the participe passé of the main verb. The imparfait is structured a little bit differently. It consists of the subject pronoun followed by the main verb, which is conjugated according to the subject pronoun in the imperfect tense. But when do we use imparfait? Well, to describe a situation in the past, for example, it was raining and snowing, which would be il pouvait et il nageait. Or, to discuss a repeated action in the past, every Friday I used to play basketball. Tous les vendredis, je jouais au basket. And lastly, for physical descriptions, she had brown hair. Elle avait les cheveux bruns. Here are a few imparfait keywords. You must always conjugate an imparfait if the verb ends with ing because it describes a situation in the past or if the phrase contains the words used to since it also describes a repeated action in the past and lastly for an indefinite amount of time. In all these cases, you must conjugate an imparfait. But when do we use passé composé? Well, we use passé composé to describe a completed action such as I ate an apple which would be J'ai mangé une pomme or we went to the park. Nous sommes allés au parc. And lastly, she went on a bike ride. Elle a fait une randonnée à vélo. Now here's a study tip for passé composé. Always conjugate in passé composé if the phrase contains a specific time frame because this indicates that the action is already completed. Or always conjugate in passé composé if there's a counted action, such as I went there three times or they told me twice. And that's all. Now you know everything you need about passé composé and imparfait. Happy studying!